Battle of the Fans is an airing of grievances. It's one party against the other. The only rules we have is to keep it classy because yes, this is a family show. No personal jabs, no sneak attacks. Keep it basketball and keep it pushing. All right. I'll give two minutes. I like two that. minutes per side. Uh -huh. And then I will give them 60 seconds. Yeah. Actually, I'll give them 90 seconds yeah. to go ahead, head to and head, battle it out, battle it out, and we will pick a winner. That's boom. So let's bring the participants into the room. Fredo, we're gonna go to you first. Are you gonna mute your mic? Ash, you got the timer? Okay, Fredo, the floor is yours, sir. For Go. the record, let's start this off right. I called uh, I called Ari out, told him to put his money where his mouth is, and he backed up. Mm. He backed up, so let, let's start off with that. My problem with Ari is that Ari thinks he's the smartest guy in the room, like mm. I said yesterday. He thinks he's the smartest. He's calling everybody morons, being disrespectful in the chat. If he would have been cool, I wouldn't have had nothing to say, but we want to call out the fans. I'm going to hold you accountable. Mm. Talking, about, talking about you want to trade. Randall for Ben Simmons, Mitch for Miles Turner. I'm fit for trading Mitch. I'm not trying to hold on to Mitch if we don't have to. But these moves that these guys are making don't make sense. Look, uh, Randall wasn't brought in here to be uh, LeBron James. He's not a number one option. He's the number one option on this team right now as it's currently constructed. But he's not LeBron James. These guys are putting these expectations on him, acting like he's supposed to be something that he's not, and they're getting mad when he's not living up to those expectations that they put on them in, in their own head. So realistically, Randall's are at best is a number two option, number three option. As the team is currently constructed, he's a number one option. The Knicks need to make trades to bring in a legitimate star, which they don't have yet. Ari wants to trade those picks for what? For Ben Simmons to put the Knicks right back where they are now. Then five years from now, we were where we were. We, we're going to be at where we were two years ago trying to crawl out of. How does that make sense? You want to, you know, you know how many picks it's going to take to get Ben Simmons? At least four first round picks, plus Julius Randle, plus probably RJ Barrett. Okay. So you want to trade all that for what? For Ben Simmons, who just choked and Ari and everybody was killing in the summer when he was choking in the playoffs. But now all of a sudden he's good enough to trade for Julius Randle. Make it make sense. Okay. If we let Fredo have the floor, we're going to put him, him on mute. Ari from Manhattan, the floor is yours. Ari, Ari, Ari hold on, hold on. <laughs> Yo, no. oh my god, is, is this guy Is this guy coming in with his own theme music? What is going on here? This guy, is he, is he about to freestyle? Alright, so first things first Number one, I don't know where this I said trade for Ben Simmons thing came up from mm. That's just fake, that's fake news media Straight mm. up fake news media That's number one Number two, number two What I've been saying this whole time, alright is the last thing you want to do is trade your young core for anybody. So you saying we need to trade for a star to build around Julius Randle is a guaranteed second round exit, like guaranteed second round exit. And now you just you just gave up your future. So you're basically down to lose in the second round if you do it like that, right? I never said trade the young core at all. What I did say though was trade Julius Randle last year when his stock was high because you knew he was never going to play at that level of basketball ever again. What I don't understand from fans is how they even thought that him playing like an all NBA level was even possible ever again. Okay. Everyone wants to focus on those 70 games when there was no fans in the stands where there was COVID protocols, half the players didn't even want to play the game. And literally you choose to focus on those 70 games except for, but you don't want to focus on the playoffs. You don't want to focus on 2019. You don't want to focus on the fact that Julius Randle couldn't win with Drew Holiday or prime Anthony Davis. You don't want to focus on that. But you want to focus on the 70 games where literally the entire world flipped on its face. And that that's what you want to focus it. That That's where you want to invest, you know, $30 million a year over the next four years. All right. It's ridiculous. OK, there is no trade that this team could make by sending RJ quickly OB trade everyone for anybody, there's no trade that this team can make for a star that is going to make the Knicks a championship team because the bottom line is we are not ready to win now. We have not been ready to win now. Even last year when we were playing at our all-time peak, we got washed by a five seed. We weren't ready to win then, okay? And time. So we cannot make time. win now. All right, well, time. I got more. I, let's do it. Right, I, I got well, more. Well, we're going to bring it back in right now, sir. 
Here right, we go. Do it. Uh, you're talking about we're, 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 we're 20 games in, and I mean 70 games in last year, all this nonsense. But you're 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 talking about Julius right now. We're only like 20 some games into the season. And no, I'm talking about Julius. Have... I'm talking about Julius throughout his entire career, okay. ever except for oh, 70 oh, games during COVID. That's, that's, that's what I'm very, talking that's about. That's very interesting, Ari, because don't I remember last year you having a battle of the fans and you admitting that Julius Randle was worth and you were wrong. I said mm-hmm. trade him still. No, I still trade him. No, did it, did it Remember, Ashley game? wouldn't talk to me because I said, let's trade Randall. No, most of the year. That's really then, working out for Ashley right now. Battle, no, Aubrey Ashley during your, this. She's not bad. No, <laughs> but for your battle of the fans last year, you admitted that, Drew, that you were wrong that Julius was worth it. So now all of a sudden you're flip-flopping no. again and you're acting like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I mean, said look, Julius mm. Randall was worth more than I thought he was last year, but I still said trade him at the deadline because we don't stock was high. Look, we don't got to go back and forth because we got it on tape. So the facts is there, bro. You said it. You said it. So now I said trade Randall. I've always said trade Randall. Everybody knows this. All right. I and I still receipts, say it. Brother, I got the receipts. Mm. And last year, last year you was fit when you realized that uh, Julius, you were wrong and Julius Randall Do you have a take or what? Are you, are you just going to talk about what I said My what I take said is last that you year. don't know that you're flip-flopping and you don't know what you're I'm saying. I'm not flip-flopping. Mm. I'm not flip-flopping. We should always – listen, if I said I said last year let's trade him for three first-round picks when he was at his all-time best. The bottom line is – even if he was playing just as good as he was last year, I'd still trade him because he's blocking Obi. He's not on the same timeline as these young guys. There's nobody you could put around Julius Randle but you're to make this team a championship you're team. You need to rebuild like a normal franchise. You need to trade your stars no, for on, young pieces than, and on, assets more, and continue there's, rebuilding. There's more, than, there's more than one way to rebuild, and you're saying he's blocking Obi. Obi's two years younger than him. Right, Obi. He's four he's years two, younger than him, no, but that's not, not the four, point. He's not four years younger. He's than twenty-three, him. Obi. No, he's not. He's older yes, than he that. And you guys could Google it for yourself, 24. okay? You could Google it for yourself. Uh, he's younger than him. He can't shoot the three. All he gets he does paid twenty percent as much as all, Julius Randle. He's, he he's on a team friendly he deal. Is run and Randall's jump. not on a team like friendly Obi. deal. I like Obi. Don't get me wrong. I like Obi, but all he does is run and dunk, bro. Uh, that's all because that's all he has. The, that's all he has the leash to do. He's getting blocked. Bro, he's on the he can't play. Plays twelve minutes a game. Shoot, no one passes him the ball. He's a lob threat. Just has him going to the hoop. He He's shoot eighty percent for three. Where, where's your criticism for him shooting eighty percent for three? How can we can't criticize that? You talking He's not about a three Randall. point shooter? Randall's by what does that mean? Not a, Randall, his game. Randall's by far. If it's not his game, then why he's taking a shot? If Randall what? is by far what? the best player on this team, hands down. And I want to He's tell you not, this. That's so, not the I point. I want to tell you this. And I want to tell you First of all, Derrick Rose is the best. First of all, Derrick Rose is the best player on this mm. team. But second of all, even if Julius Randle was the best player on this team, that's not the point. Let me tell you the something. The team Randall, is not ready to win around this, him. You I trade him for the future. I you get off his contract. You. you let OB shine, and you use that money to bring in a real point guard. Nah, let me, make this, clear. Else. Let me, make, let me make this last thing clear to you and the fans, right? You guys are wrong. You're wrong. Oh, my God. And, this is and, and he, this, is, this, is, this is sad, bro. This is, come he, on. Give me a – come on. Randall's I'll give you a refund. I'll give you a refund. Let, 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 let him finish his point. Let him finish his point. Tra- Randall's not getting traded this year. He's not. He's not getting traded this year. That doesn't mean he, he shouldn't got, get what, traded. What, what, what message are you sending to the NBA when we finally got – we players are finally starting to say for the first time, oh, you know, the Knicks look intriguing. I want to play for the Knicks. Evan Fournier didn't work out, but it was a good sign that players chose to come and sign here. Okay, now you want to trade Whoa. the guy who brought us here and send a message to the league that we are we, we have no stability and as soon as things get rough, we're gonna get rid of you. What message is that sent to other superstars and players? You look at this is not about this is not about free agency. This is not about a message. What what message does it say that you're benching Kemba Walker after Kemba seven Walker's games? Washed. Kemba Walker's washed. But I'm He's saying what, what kind of message does that send to your, your 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 to the people around the league? Who cares what other people think? We have to worry about the Knicks, man. How are we going to get better? You think paying thirty million dollars a year for eight points and seven rebounds is worth it? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. You're not looking at the whole Knicks fans just want to get what they paid for. If Randall was getting paid ten million dollars a year, we'd be fine with it. He's getting paid thirty million dollars a year for a contract that hasn't started yet. We're paying Evan Fournier eighty million dollars. I'm sick and tired of paying Jerome James, Allen Houston, (laughs) Vin Baker, Tim Hardaway Jr. (laughs) Joe right, Kim Noah, say, say, why are we up. doing this? Why can't we just rebuild like a normal franchise? We are. We cannot this build around of, Randall. Right. There's no of, trades. You don't have enough talent. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. You cannot win with Randall on this team. You this trade the whole the- team for Dame. What is Dame and Randall gonna do? You're not giving me any other options. What is your choice? What is your What is your answer to this? Build around Randall 
How are you no. building a championship team? I'm not saying I'm, to build a, you're, you're misconstruing what I'm saying. I'm not saying to build around Randall. I'm saying we have Randall and we have to put places in. Rand, and I told time. you like, at best, he's a second and third option. You How are you going to get a number option? one and two option? You don't have enough talent to trade for a big you star. Have assets. And even if you do, you have what assets. Is, yeah, you your have assets. assets. We don't have enough assets to bring in two superstars. You don't, but you got to bring it one, one at a time. You got to bring in one at a time. Of course, you can't bring in two. You got to bring in one at a time. So you're, you're, you're telling me you gotta walk trade the young you guys, you gotta trade walk the young guys, you bring in Damian Lillard, and then when you have Damian Lillard and Julius Randle, then try to make a move and bring said, in a third guy? Said, I all never right, said all right. bring let's, in Damian Lillard. I never call. said bring in Damian Lillard. I said bring in a young guy, man. Let's call. Bring in a guy like Brandon. We're going to meet the mics. Stop the fight. We're going to meet the, the mics. Fight. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Vote in tonight's poll. Who won the battle of the fans? Is it Ari? Is it Fredo? Leave a vote. I put a poll in the chat. Leave a vote right now. Is it Ari? Is it Fredo? Let us know your thoughts. You know, Ari, Ari's always on that sorry Ari stuff. First and foremost, I was the first person. <laughs> to tell you that we should have traded Julius two years ago. All right? Just, I'm going to just put that out there. In fairness, that is true. Yeah. I fought I was you the, on it, I was the first person it. to say we got to set him packing. Nevertheless, Fredo made good points. He's not the end-all, be-all. This, this front office is not saying that when they gave him the deal on a team-friendly deal, they're not saying they're building around him. They're trying to build with him. And based off of the season that he had last year, you had to do it. It was a cost to mm. doing business. As yeah. Ash said, you send a terrible message to the NBA when this guy bleeds his heart out for you for, for the regular season. Yes, the postseason wasn't good. Most improved player, all of that. The, the, the career highs that he had, fans and no fans. The numbers were what they were. You can't just say, well, we're not going to sign him or we're going to send him packing after that. No, nobody's going to come here. Nobody's going to have faith. In, in, in a front office if you do that to, to, to the guy. So they had to do it. It was a cost of doing business. They got him on a team-friendly deal. And they can still right their wrongs. It's not the end of the world. So I, I hear Ari, but I'm leaning with Fredo, man, because you can still build with him. You have to, again, leverage your assets. And part of leveraging your assets is seeing your young players playing well now part of that is on the coach to play these kids to play grimes to play mcbride right figure out a way to get ob and julius on the court together then you can figure out okay you know who's gonna stay who's gonna go who can get me the point guard that i need who can get me the wing player that i need is that person on this team this is why the kids have to play this is why the kids have to play. You have to be able to see what type of assets you have in terms of winning, helping you win games, or helping you go out and get somebody else that can help you win games. But I don't think putting Julius here as a potential third piece to a contender is necessarily a bad thing because I think he could be a third option. You still need two more. Still need two more. The goal is not to build around him. The goal is to get better pieces. Those guys right now, aren't out there for us. And I'm talking about Spider. I'm talking about, you know, Bradley Beal. I'm talking about these guys later on down the road. And Bradley Beal may come up sooner than sooner. May, may come up this offseason. But the Spiders, you know, maybe like two years away from trying to get him. They're not going to get Dame. Dame doesn't make sense. Ben Simmons doesn't make sense. So, I'm with Fredo, man. Yeah, I'm going with Fredo.